All right, man, torture talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the content. So look, man, today, today, man, we're going to talk about Young Thug, man. I know I didn't do an episode on Young Thug. I actually did do an episode, but I didn't drop it because the audio was really bad. But I'm back in the studio. And um, yeah, so let's do this, man. We're going to talk about Young Thug. And it's actually some new stuff came out, so I'm glad we'll do it. And also, I'm going to touch on 6 9 too. Uh, certain things that happened to him as well. Um, I do have an episode with Six Nine, and for some, most most likely, I'm probably going to drop that episode too. Um, and uh, we'll see what happens with that. But we're going to touch on that anyway. Let me get my legendary spill. This is Torture Talk. If you like the content, please consider subscribing if you're new here. Let me work for your subscription today. All the beautiful, sexy ladies, put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones at. They over there. Just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch. But I do have content absolutely free. But if you want to leave a donation, links on the screen. Cash app, PayPal is in the description. They called me the Hidden Gym. I went from 1,300 subscribers to over, to over, over 11, 12,000 subscribers. So, you know what it is, man. So, we're going to get into it. Let me know where you're from, too. And I appreciate it. So let's get to this video, man. We'll be back to discuss. You know what it is. Hold your talk. <laughs> All right, so let's get it, man. You already know. Links will be in the description. Let's go. Oh, man. So the whole social media is about to be playing probation officer for the next 15 years, dog. So Young Thug finally makes some tweets. And I'm not going to lie. It's hard to tell if bro learned any damn thing while he was locked up. But let's just hope he keeps this ish on wax. Okay, so so as y'all can see, he says, real plea deal, Jack. Hold on tight. You understand the context. After that, this morning, he tweets, wham, let's drop one on these rats, Peter. So, y'all see, y'all see someone said gonna saying this saying time out, time out, time out. What's going on? Um, all right, okay. So if we thought Thug was gonna come out and be on his Hold on, who said time out? Who said that? Oh, gonna see this saying time out. Um I hate to say this, but niggas never learn, man. Niggas never learn. They never learn. They 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 ask they ask for trouble. It's like they so they're they're so entrenched into the streets that they never learn and they end up going right back into I'ma predict this right now, young thug will be going right back to prison. He'll be going right back to prison and he probably gonna do all this time. Because some people don't know how to let things go. They don't know how to be a person of their word and stick to it. You gotta understand. He got 15 years of probation. And if he messes up one time, which he's doing right now, as y'all can see, he's setting it up to mess up. It's like, what are we doing here? And that's not, not this is not me saying that he should act this should actually be something where he actually messes up. I'm not saying that. What I am saying is, you gotta ask yourself. I mean, what are we doing here? Why is people supporting people who do things and then turn around and don't be a person of that word. You're engaging into things where you know that it's going to get you in trouble and you're still doing it. I don't understand it. It's like, what, what, do we, what did we learn? I'm coming by y'all shit and just let stuff slide. And well, he ain't. He ain't, he ain't. But that doesn't mean he's going to get on a song and pop any gangster shit, though. But I know people are speculating on who this energy may be for, okay? So you see the tweet, real plea deal, Jack. He's basically saying, I took a real plea deal without me having to rat on anybody. I didn't have to testify with my plea deal. So real plea deal. That's what he's saying, okay? Many people may be asking, though, who this for? Who this for? We'll have to see, but I know the most popular person may be Gunna. Now, he may have initially been upset with Gunna, but when you sit back and see it all play out, I would think that Thug will understand that he got some bigger fish to fry. Like, the work of Woody alone, sitting back and seeing all this shit play out, the work of him alone is the reason why all them boys was cooked in the first place. He's the reason that they taking these pleas and being on probation and all that shit. But Thug's tweet about taking a real plea, it means something. It means something. Although, his brother Unfunk, 
took one of those other pleas, one of the ones that Gunna took and people like that. But we gonna talk about Gunna, but um, Lil Baby, Lil Baby is reacting to what Young Thug said. He put up a song with them too. And um, it's We Should, saying We Should do a song, I guess, I don't know. He also posts his um, Thugger, I miss you, motherfucker. Welcome home, my brother. Thank God you're able to get back to the fam and good health and spirits. Wishing none but Billy and Jack. Whatever Wham say goes. A little baby referenced this tweet right here saying whatever Wham say goes. Now, let's get to the history behind this right here. So like I told y'all, we about to talk about Gunner first, okay? Now, I was under the impression that Thug was trying to come out and get back to working with Gunner after his lawyer asked the judge for... Next question. Uh, hey, coach. Any advice on how to rally people up during halftime? for that permission. And Mr. Williams have no contact with any of the co-defendants in this indictment with the exception of Mr. Quantavius Greer, that is his biological brother, as well as Mr. Sergio Kitchens. He's a phenomenal artist. He goes performer known as Gunna, G-U-N-N-A. Mr. Williams and Mr. Kitchens are contractually obligated and they frequently perform music together but after these set of tweets i don't know what the hell going on you feel me i don't know if he wants to read that's what i'm saying like <laughs> what are we doing here and he did 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 was this something that was orchestrated by him and his lawyer did he once he get out he could just basically go on on twitter or x like is this stuff is not public information and people see this when you calling somebody right i think that that that's again. That's violating a, a, a order or some type of thing when it comes to the judicial system. Because calling somebody a rat is actually that's just another street term, and you basically is putting yourself right in back into the same fold that you was in. If you said you was gonna get away from that, and it's like now you're gonna basically what's saying? Who you know? Who he talking about? Like, come on, bro. Let's be clear here. You know exactly who we talking about. We all know who we talking about. I don't understand why we acting like we don't. We know exactly who we talking about. Like, come on, man. Night or it was just a formality, you know, saying, hey, man, I just need to make sure this is a possibility. Who knows? But after Gunner initially took his plea deal and said the yes, ma'am shit. Please state after each statement whether or not you agree or acknowledge that the statements are true, okay? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. YSL is a music label and a game, and you have personal knowledge that members or associates of YSL have committed crimes in furtherance of the game. Yes, ma'am. You were present. Damn. Now, niggas are saying that. I remember people saying that he didn't snitch. They don't know if he snitched. They don't know if Gunner said this. They don't know. Listen, bro. He's clearly telling the court everything that she asked him right there i don't know why you dudes be protecting dudes who are snitches criminals crooks all a part of this whole cabal bro it is what it is these dudes be lying they're snitches they're crooks they're criminals they're killers bro why would why do we even acknowledge these dudes in the culture i don't understand it because they make y'all dance because they have good songs these dudes do things, nefarious things to people and each other. Look at this. He's on tape, literally right here, saying that they were a gang. All this stuff. I'm just, I'm just mind blown by how people just, just accept this and just go along with it. It's like, oh, we can talk about six nine and how much he was a rat and how much he was this and that. But when it come to Gunna, oh no, it's a, he. You gotta understand. He didn't, he really didn't rap. He just cooperated. It was different. Like, it's not the same. Ratting is different than cooperating. It's like, he cooperated, but he didn't rat. Like, no. He did the same thing 6 9 did. You know what I'm saying? But y'all demonized 6 9 for it. And this guy, is he, he's a hero in y'all eyes. I don't get it. And I'm not condoning ratting at all. I'm just saying that, to me, the hypocrisy is what the hypocrisy is. It's like y'all okay with certain people y'all like doing it. Y'all make excuses up for it. And then y'all make no excuses up for people y'all don't like. 
It's like, come on, man. When law enforcement officers stopped a vehicle in which you were present along with Jeffrey Williams, wherein hydrocodone, methamphetamines, and a firearm were recovered. These items did not belong to you. Yes, ma'am. And do you acknowledge the following statement? I recognize, accept, and deeply regret that my talent and music indirectly furthered YSL the game to the detriment of my community. YSL as a game must end. Is that your statement or acknowledgement? Yes. Lil Baby put out what seemed to be a message coming directly from Thug. <laughs> Now, once again, Thug went on his Twitter to seemingly confirm and stand by what Baby said by saying whatever Wham say goes. And not only that, but we also have this this clip, this audio clip that was sent out to Lil Baby and Lil Dirk, seemingly asking for them to join him in dissing Gunna on Thug's album, Business is Business, before it came out. Peep this real quick. Yo, hey, Wham. If you if you thinking about responding to the little that Buddha put out, I don't want you to I want you to respond on my album. I got I'm planning this um I'm gonna drop this spontaneous um album on the same day you drop this album. I'm gonna name that shit business is business. Hey dirt, I know I want you on I'm dropping this I'm dropping this um this 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 um surprise album. On the same day, the same day, buddy dropped his album. That shit coming up soon. I need a verse from you. If you if you feel like replying, if you feel like you want to reply to it, that nigga. Uh, yo, I listen, bro. I got this crown. I got this crown. Ain't no jewels. None of these jewels is real. I got this drawn for five dollars. It look good on me. Yo. I ain't gonna lie. You know what I'm saying five bucks. Some of this jewelry that these niggas be wearing. It's insane. And what I mean by, I'm not saying, and we're just gonna, we're just gonna say hypothetically speaking that this stuff is actually real. We're not gonna say that this molten ice and he got it from somebody. Let's just go off of if it's actually real, right? And let's look at this. L look at look look at this. Look at this, right? I can tell you that that piece. Alone, just that piece alone is part of is more more than a hundred grand. Let's say two hundred grand, right? The watch, I mean the 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 bracelet, the chains, all these platinum chains around you niggas' necks. You niggas be out here sporting all of this stuff that y'all then brought, spent a million dollars on. You can't take none of this shit with you to prison, and you can't take none of this shit to you to the grave and most of y'all ain't gonna give it away you're not gonna give it to your family y'all gonna end up taking it and pawning it or whatever some people saying it's rented oh these are rented jewels i don't know i'm not who rents a, a million dollar jewels that maybe they do i don't know i never seen that not saying it ain't real but still in all you niggas get money and y'all buy this this is why we this is exactly where we at Right here. That's why we where we at today. Because we get money and what we do. <laughs> we spending on jewels and cars. I don't get it. I let me listen, man. Let me come across a hundred grand. What? Let me come across 50. 50 grand. 50. Or something. Man, don't, 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 don't do it. Let's drop it on my album. I'm dropping a, a surprise album on the same day that fuck niggas drop it. <laughs> Send your verse in, bro. I want you and Wham on the same song. Send your verse in. Now, Young Thug's sister did come out and say that that was AI. Some people thought it was bullshit. They didn't believe it. Some people did believe it. Who knows? Who knows? But we're all still looking for a clear message from Thug on, you know, what's him and Gunner's relationship moving forward? Now, Outside of any industry relationships, this hasn't really hurt Gunner's career as he's been able to be very successful since he's been out. Thanks to the fans saying, fuck that. We like your music. Just give us good music and we're going to rock with you. And plus, we understand your perspective, bro. You just trying to do music shit. These are the niggas on that game banking heavy shit. And you just riding in the car with Thug with some guns and drugs in it. And now you roped into a Rico case. 
If Thug was out here doing his time like that, and your money make a gun and get caught up into your shit, bro, I would think he have some type of like understanding. Like, listen, let him go out there and get that money while I fight this case because they ain't really got shit on him anyway, and he doesn't really have any facts on us anyway when it comes to having a plea. He ain't gonna say nothing different than what a nigga like Woody could say, or Montunk, or uh, what other buddy names, Slime Like Shotty. We can get to all of them, but first, let's talk about Woody. Now, when it comes to Woody, um, Thug's family ain't really been feeling how Woody has been become a celebrity. Like, even my mama know who Woody is. So with Thug being free now, his sister Dolly retweets this person saying, lying on someone and getting them sent to jail is something you can never come back from. God sees all, nobody's more powerful than him, and just know everything done in the dark and done in the dark will soon come to light. It's only a matter of time. Dolly says they praising shit like that these days though. We smart enough. Man, get the fuck out of here. I'm so sick of y'all trying to invoke God into something. Your brother's a criminal, man. Your brother's a criminal. How are you trying to invoke God into it? God sees all. Really? So he so he's seen the things that your brother did too. Are you kidding me? You dudes, all you people are hypocrites, man. Y'all hypocrites. It's so crazy to me how you try to invoke God and it's something and your brother's a crook. He's a criminal. He does things. How did he get in that situation? He just didn't get land there. Oh, well, you got to understand God doesn't like snitches. God don't like crooks either. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it. And this has nothing to do with, with, with just, just Doug or whoever. It's just people in general. Y'all always trying to invoke God into something when you're the person you're saying that God doesn't like. On the other side, he's doing something like your brother could be or somebody could be a murderer or just a, 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 cold, a stone cold killer. And you'll say, yeah, man, you snitched on my brother. And God doesn't like that. Like, you, you got to be kidding me, man. It's no way in the world. I know what she's talking about. That's Woody. She retweets the tweet that says, real plea deal Jack, she say type shit. And all this comes after Woody put out an apology to Young Thug. Peep this real quick. If you could walk in that courtroom and say one thing to Thug right now, what would that be? I'm sorry. What you sorry for? The pain, the suffering, everything I caused on him and his family, society, the courts, I'm sorry for everything. I wish, I wish I had the strength and the mindset I have now. I'm just, I'll never forgive myself. No matter what happened, I, I took him through a process that he, I should never took him through. And even though I don't, even though I know I'm not the cause of it, despite how anybody, any people may feel, uh, it's wrong. If I knew that it would have did that, I would never, I would never be so evil as I was. And even after that point on the story, he posted this after Young Thug got a sentencing on um, saying, thank you, God, and um, God powers can't be matched. So even after yo, that, yo, the family- Yo, you niggas is wild, bro. I never seen nothing like it, bro. <laughs> you niggas, you niggas is crooks and criminals and praying to God, bro. <laughs> How you think it's just killers and praying to God? <laughs> Going to heaven with guns. <laughs> Y'all standing outside the heaven's gates with a bunch of uh, AR-15s <laughs> and AK-47s telling us some let us in. You try to probably try to rob. Y'all probably try to rob the angels. <laughs> like, <at> the <laughs> Yo, you niggas is wild funny, bro. Y'all so funny. You dudes do things with people, have people set up. I'm not saying this is what they did. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying in general. A lot of y'all see this all the time with people. You people be doing them some of the craziest stuff and then try to act like, thank God. Thank you, Jesus. Like, get the fuck out of here, dog. Get up out of here, bro. Like, uh, like yeah, I think y'all missing the whole concept of what God is and who Jesus was and all that stuff, bro. It's so crazy to me how... <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Yo. He's still saying, nah, bro, you can't come back from what you did. 
Thug had two years of his life taken away and 15 years of probation that he had to look forward to. Now, only Thug knows what he did or didn't do. So there's a chance that he may have to accept some blame for his actions. If he did do any actions, but at the bare minimum, Woody admits that he's in the wrong for the part that he played in Thug being put in this position. Now, one person, one person who Thug may, may be having some mixed feelings about who for sure was testifying in, in harming him in the case is Slime Life Shoddy. So his testimony is what sparked this whole situation. You know, things didn't start off well for Thug after Slime Life Shoddy admitted to YSL being a gang. And outside of the music is YSL a gang. <laughs> Bro, what is going on here? This is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. What the hell? Bro, what the hell, bro? Bro, come on, bro. You come into court like this? Bro, you come into court like this? To court? I don't know if you was out. I don't know if you was locked up, but you're coming to court like this. I just don't get this whole thing, bro. You say outside of the music? Yes, sir. Uh, some people treat it like that. What do you treat it as? I treated it that way before. You treated it as a gang before? Yeah. Okay. When did you stop treating it as a gang? Um, I don't know. I don't and, remember, I don't know. You said you don't remember. And when you say you treated it as a gang, what do you mean? Um, I don't really know. I never thought about that. <clears throat> um, mm -hmm. I don't know how to answer that. How old were you? Now, I could say this. I don't know if I don't necessarily know if with the question that was asked to him, if that's actually what, you know, him treating it as a gang is that's him snitching. And the reason why I say that is because a gang doesn't necessarily mean criminal activity. It could be a gang of people. It, that's what they call it. It's a gang of people, a mob of people, a gang of people. Doesn't mean, now I understand the whole term of gang of what she's saying in the courtroom, but he probably, and I'm just going to shoot him some bell, he probably is using it in the terms of how it actually is used because he's saying he don't know, and he looks like he's sincere. I'm not going to lie. He doesn't look like he's lying. Like, he doesn't look nervous or anything. You know what I'm saying? So I'm thinking, like, he's saying, like, yeah, I did treat it like a gang because a gang to certain people is brotherhood. Doesn't necessarily mean it's criminal activities, even though I know a lot of these court systems want to paint it out to be a gang is criminal activity, but they don't say that about a gang of people who's moving together doesn't mean that they're doing some criminal activity. When you joined YSL, the gang. Um, what do you, can you... Tell me what you mean by like join. Like, are you talking about? I don't know. What would you consider joining? I'm saying like, do you mean join like, because you know, like to get in the gang, you join the gang, like you get beat up or something like that. How did you become a member of YSL? Uh, my music got popping and I became a known face in my neighborhood. And I started coming around and going to studio, studios and stuff. But do inadvertently. To me, that's not snitching, though. I don't think that that, I don't, at least from what I'm hearing right here, what he said, I don't look at that as snitching. You know what I'm saying? I guess what they're trying to say is why it was YSL a gang and they're saying he wasn't a gang. But he's basically saying, yeah, I did look at it as, as a gang, but maybe in the sense of him looking at it as a, as a gang, but not in the gang form of, doing criminal activities more like yeah we we're a team that's what it is gang if you look up the definition i'm sure it it's a, a gang of people doesn't necessarily mean that it's a gang against a bunch of gangsters you know what i'm saying 
Like, that's all it is. Just really a team. He helped when prosecutors messed up by having him read a statement that should have been redacted. Life size. Okay. And is there another hashtag? Free Quay. What? Is there another hashtag on the screen? Oh, no. Your Honor. It's in this paper right here. You got me reading. Your Honor, I need I have to make a motion. So with him saying free Quay, that stains the minds of the jury because they now know one of the defendants has been in jail before. And that can alter their opinions on the defendants. So that right there led to a conversation about a mistrial, which ultimately resulted in them dudes getting plea deals all but two. Now, Slime Light Shot is choosing to focus. <laughs> He's choosing to focus on the quote unquote good that he did, all right? So Slime Light Shot it put up now free to rest after Thug was released from jail. Hell, all right. Now it was the actual prosecutor's mistake, you know, he was following the instructions that he was giving. But nevertheless, well wishes to this young man. Now, like I told y'all, man, what's going on since all this is that yeah, everyone's trying to play probation officer because maybe he didn't snitch. Maybe I don't know. I was confused by that part. I don't know. I was confused, but from what I seen, I didn't see him really snitching on nobody. I he basically was just saying they were a gang, but he wasn't saying they were a gang like then. And a lot of, and a lot of, and I watched some of that. I watched a good portion of that case. A lot of those, a lot of those uh, prosecutors were dickheads, and especially those two females. They were trying to link stuff that really shouldn't have been linking, and they was dragging it out, dragging it out, saying bringing people up to do what he said he did it. He did it a hundred times. You asking him a hundred different ways the same question, and he telling you he did. Like, what are we doing here? You know what I'm saying? So it was a lot with that case. But anyway, let's keep it going. It's almost over. They're finding it hard to believe that Thug gonna keep his nose clean for 15 years. Now, a clip released with him on FaceTime with T.I. Peep this real quick. <laughs> Now, people have an issue with this. Reason being is because T.I. is a felon and because they're saying they throwing up gang signs in the video. Now, to me, that shit look like peace signs. It look like peace signs to me. And um, But his sister, Hedora, she says, it's the girl who recorded Jeff off somebody else's phone for me. How much they paid you for that video? It better be a bag for real because she like, dog, what are you doing? Um, I guess it may be an issue. The thing about this shit, dog, if, if, if people want to violate you, they can find the stupidest ways to violate you, the most simplest ways to violate you. So they don't want to have any mishaps. So I don't know. I don't know, bro. But on top of that, bro, you got that situation going on. And then you have this dude right here by the name of Young Maul. Now, Young Maul is playing what's allegedly a first day out freestyle for Young Thug that got leaked. But people are speculating, and I'm believing it too, that this is an AI song. But dude, seeming to be someone who knows Thug, is giving it some type of credibility with him playing the song. Now, on the song, on the song, Thug says, fuck the judge. The, the, the person that sounds like Thug says, fuck the judge. Which further makes me believe that this is for sure AI because... Thug was singing the judge's praises while he was in court. It's no way that he would then come out on the first damn song he makes, he dissed the judge. That makes no sense. So that lets me know that this shit for sure, for sure fake in my opinion. Definitely that's a lie. And that's probably it's fake. Because I watched that whole part. It was like it was like an hour and a half to two hours long when the prosecutor was talking and then the defense attorney was talking. And they talked and talked and talked and talked. And then I got to Thug, Thug part, and Thug talked to the judge, and she came out, and after he was done, she said, I'm going to be watching you. You make sure you do this, and I'm, uh, people are looking up to you, and all this stuff. And he said, Yon, I'm sorry for putting you through this, and all this stuff. I seen it. I doubt that he did that. A hundred percent doubt that he did that. Through these last two and a half years of my life, you are really, truly, honestly, the best thing that has happened to me because you made made everything fair for me and everybody involved. This is what I really want y'all to think about. Like, Pete, this whole pitch. If, if Thug really knows this dude, and he's someone that may be close around Thug in the future, nah, gotta get him away. 
gotta get him away because look at it like this, bro. If dude didn't even think twice about playing a song with Thug allegedly slaying that shit, that further lets me know that a dude like him will allow Thug to do a lot more dumb shit in his presence that can ultimately send Jeffrey back to jail. So stay in your P's and Q's, Jeff. Please, please, please. Watch the people that's around you. Yeah, you gotta be a man of your own and stand on your own, but still, the people around you, they can influence shit too, man. But yeah, yeah that's true. All right, we're gonna get out of here. You know, make sure y'all go follow this guy. I will have his link in the description. It's crazy, man. I'm just saying. You know what I mean? Now, regarding 6ix9ine, he did some things. Um and he did some real dumb stuff too. And I don't really want to talk too much about 6 9 on here because uh, I got a whole separate episode for that. And I'll be releasing that soon. But yeah, man. Young Thug, man. You got to get out of that situation, man. Stop uh, surrounding yourself with these people who ain't about nothing, bro. I know they, I know they ain't niggas in the hood and whatever you want to call them, but these dudes ain't about nothing, bro. And you going to be right back in prison telling you right now you know what i'm saying hopefully that doesn't happen but my gut feeling saying that it's going to eventually happen bro. either way man thank y'all for tuning in man i'll see y'all man love y'all peace bye <laughs>